New at 10, since the statewide mask mandate took effect last week, there's been some confusion over who's exempt due to a medical condition. Lisa why Spencer Humphrey spoke with medical experts about what qualifies and what you need to know before you head to the store without one. If you look here on the state's website laying out the details of the mask mandate, you'll notice it specifies people who cannot medically tolerate a face covering don't have to wear one. But that probably leaves you with some questions like, how do you know if this applies to you? And if it does, what can you still do? But wearing anything is better than wearing nothing. That's what Dr. Luke Webb tells his patients concerned about wearing masks. He specializes in treating people with asthma and allergies. Around around eight to ten percent of the population has asthma. So is asthma really a reason not to wear one? Dr. Webb says for most asthma patients, it's not. I, I would say it would be less than two percent. Another common reason people give is allergies. I don't think there are any airborne allergens that would you would have worsened symptoms by wearing a mask. So who exactly does this include? Um, some people who may have uh, some muscular compromise or just have severe COPD. Really young kids or people who just don't have the physical capability to remove a mask from their face. For the small number of people who do fall into this category, disability rights advocate Patricia Yeager says the law still can't keep businesses from turning them away. The ADA doesn't say you're exempted, but you can't come into the store because you present a direct threat to other people. Dr. Webb says most of these patients already have compromised immune systems, making it in their health's best interest to stay home anyway, mask or not. If in any way you can stay home and either have things delivered to you or have family members help you get those things, Coming up tomorrow morning on News 5 Today, our Jess Cabaretto will give you a deeper look at the alternatives people can take to still get their important shopping done, even if they can't wear a mask. That all starts at 4.30 a.m. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Spencer Humphrey, News 5.